It's kind of fun going back through this because while I have a good feeling of how much we've transformed, revisiting it reminds me really how the transformation happened. And I can't imagine us working now without having TED and 3VQ so ingrained in our culture. Mm. It's almost like doing one of those award submissions, isn't it? That you're having to go back through and say, what have we done well? What did we change? (laughs) (laughs) Yes, absolutely. Okay, so Sherry, in our last conversation, we tread gently around your personal early journey and your integration of TED at Studio Movie Grill, but we didn't really dig into the overarching or underlying challenges faced by teams before TED was introduced. There'd been a 30% year-over-year growth rate, and the company was experiencing some inevitable friction between new voices coming in and the external experience. Your VP of operations, Brian Hood, had shared that we realised our growth was creating the conditions for drama and we needed a compass to help navigate the waters of this change. So could we focus on that first, on a specific example where Ted made a significant difference in your team's dynamics? Yeah, absolutely. 30% growth rate was a little crazy. We had new people coming in, new ideas, but we grew so fast that we got behind, if you will. And being able to manage processes and people taking on additional workloads simply because we were growing so fast that we were all running 100 miles an hour and didn't take the time to just stop and revisit periodically, where are we, what do we need to do? Early 2019, We had grown so much, had so many new leaders out in the field and at our home office, and we were having a real issue with communication. It wasn't getting filtered all the way through. And we had different people sending different messages or putting their spin on messages, which that happens, right? If you're not aligned, that's going to happen. And so the great thing was we were able to use TED and 3VQ. And so we brought everybody into the home office and we spent a day walking through what the key issues were using the five-step action plan that 3VQ has, which is just such an amazing tool. It seems so simple, but it's so amazing. And we were able to address the issues. One of the big things that I love about TED and 3VQ is that you don't sit there and waste time complaining. We learn to not focus on the problem, right? But focus on the outcome. So we started with what is our outcome? What do we want out of this? And what do we want to be able to see in order to improve these issues that we're having. And so when you're all aligned on an outcome, you're not talking about, well, this doesn't work or that doesn't work, or, you know, we don't get this information timely. So then we're sending it down to our team members late and it creates this bottleneck. We're not talking about those things. They may be issues. They're a part of what's going on. But that's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is what do we want to see and how do we get there? It allowed the whole team to have that day workshop, talk about those things from a positive standpoint. And we were able to align on a communication method that worked for everybody and that would get everybody what they needed. It would get us to our desired outcome. It was just an amazing example for us of our decision to integrate 3VQ and TED because it took an issue that had been really causing a lot of problems within our organization And within a day, we were able to map out that plan. Everybody left with their baby steps of what they were going to do. We left with check-in dates to make sure that we were doing it. And it really did show 
not only the impact that drama can make in an organization, how it can slow you down, how you can lose productivity and all of those things, but it also showed us in focusing on the solution that a huge team can put a plan together pretty quickly and really shift and have a positive outcome. One of the things that we tell them, if they haven't heard of TED or 3VQ before, especially TED, when we really talk about those pauses, when you go home, practice this and see what your kids, your partner, your friends, whatever, how do they react to you actually pausing, making sure that you heard them properly and then speaking? We're not used to that. And especially in the business world, right? It's just like, bam, 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 let's talk to each other. And it's amazing what will happen with people, even if they're people that are kind of at odds with each other, like we talked about last week with the gentleman. Once you stop and you offer each other respect, you could have totally two different ideas. But as long as you're coming at it from a source of respect for each other and a desired outcome that is Mm. aligned, it takes a lot of that emotion away. So many stories from our people, uh, especially our new managers that, you know, just go through this, just about how it transforms them, how they change their way they lead. Some of the ones that are the most impactful to me are the stories of their personal life. Because I love the fact that this work allows us to work on ourselves across professional and personal. Uh, Still gets me is one of our managers telling me that his, I think his daughter was 11 or 12. She was having a lot of problem in school. And she was getting bullied and she didn't want to go to school. He taught her some of the things from Ted. And over the next few weeks, he would call me and tell me that how much better things are. What I told him is you've given your daughter such an amazing gift at the age of 11 or 12 to be able to see things from the empowerment dynamic, to be able to see bullies from a standpoint that way. Imagine what she's going to be like at 15, 16, 18, 20. And so those, of course, are so impactful. The long-term impact, I believe, is huge for any organization. Mm. But I also want to be clear that there are some amazing short-term impacts. Yes. You know, as soon as people learn about the drama triangle and the empowerment dynamic, they start thinking about things that have happened, conversations they've had or things that have happened to them. And they most of us at that point realize, oh, wow, I think I was a victim, you know, and so it has it has amazing impact early on for us, the way we see things and think about it. And as long as we kind of keep it in front of us, right, and something happens and we can refer back to it and go, oh, you know what? I don't think I was seeing this person the way I should have been to learn, right? There's really good impact early on, but then the more it builds and the more it builds, you can see this, as you said, this ripple through an organization or through a group of people that really is amazing to watch how, when they come together, how they treat each other and focus on outcomes instead of problems. And the other thing about problems and outcomes is problems, we usually come up with a short-term fix, right? I really do think that successful organizations, it's about alignment. I mean, alignment is huge. If everyone's aligned going the same direction, that doesn't mean things are perfect. That doesn't mean people don't come in some days 
you know, having a bad day, but you all know where you're going. We used to equate it to, you can go from Dallas to LA and you can fly nonstop. And if everybody knows that we're going from Dallas to LA and we're flying nonstop, we're all aligned, we might be on different planes, but we know the path that we're going. If we're driving, that gives us several more options Mm. because we can take different roads. Some people are gonna get there sooner, some people are gonna get there later, but we still know where we're all going. So we all kind of might choose how we get there, but we're all going from the same point, Dallas to the destination LA. Without this work, it was like we were leaving Dallas, but everybody was going different directions. Mm. Everybody had their own desired outcome. Everybody said, oh, well, for my department, this is, you know, or for my store, this is what I want. And so when you have that many people not aligned, but you have the same business, you're not going to be as successful as you could be. And you're going to run into roadblocks and you're going to have issues. We have a healthy way to have a conversation and get back on track very quickly. Is there any beautiful breakthrough moment? Well, yes, but the one that I have in mind we had one of our managers ran the ran one of our locations and he had been with us for quite a while and always found a reason or excuse not to go through the learning every single time every single time and Some of our team had just said, you know what? He's not going to do it. Just let it go. It's okay. You know, because we never want to force somebody to go through learning. Um, And so the next class came up and I thought, you know what? I know this is good. He's got to go through this because he was a true persecutor without intent. He had no intent, but there were people that just didn't want to work with him and it was, it was getting harder and harder. Um, and so I took a trip and sat down with him and talked to him. And I said, I've been chasing you a long time to go through this. And I promise you, I promise you, if you go through it, if you get halfway through and you see no value in it, then drop out. Just give me a few weeks. And he said, okay. And it was two weeks in. He, I could see the light bulbs go off because, of course, we were doing it via Zoom now that we Yay. do everything Zoom. And he stayed in the whole class. And he told me that his wife was blown away that he actually went through it and how much he had changed. Oh, goosebumps. And the complaints working with him started going away. To make that shift is only in those first few weeks. All the stories that we have reinforces it for me that of spreading the word and getting this out to other organizations to let them know that at least try it, right? Like pick up the book or call one of our coaches or do something because it's just, it really does make a difference. It's not the world changer that you do it one time, like we said, and that's it. But it's something that can easily be integrated and can make such a big difference. And from an organizational standpoint, from the executive team, it also shows the employees how much you care about them because you're doing this for him. Read The Power of Ted, and then we get together and we work through the e-course together, uh, whether that's one-on-one or with their group, and then you move on to the next book, and then you can do the next course. So there is a lovely rhythm you can create. Just even reading the book, I think people get it and can see the benefit of it. Totally agree.